10 years and it was my first like home after college like gosh that tells you my age but whatever don't tell Hollywood um, I am just now entering Angeles National Forest on my way to Las Vegas to pick up my friend who's road tripping with me um, I got my car full of stuff because I don't know how long I'm gonna be traveling or you know everything I'm gonna be up to and I wanted to be prepared but yeah this is it I like I know I'm gonna be even more excited like in the morning it's just because I'm finally doing the um, Painted Canyons tour the uh, what's the real name of it Painted Canyons is like the colloquial name um, hold on Canyon. Wow, that took me a long time. Can you tell that I'm sleep deprived, food deprived? I'm so tired. I've been packing for, actually I only started packing like a couple of days ago, even though I knew that I was going to be leaving, but life just kept happening. Like I got a heat stroke two weekends ago and that like took me out. And then this past weekend, yeah, I was just saying all of my goodbyes while packing and people stopping by to say hello, which was awesome, but also delayed me. So it's just a thing and then I worked at my job that I just left until yesterday. Yesterday? Two days ago. So I only had one full day of packing and um, cleaning and filling up my storage and I'm so grateful to all of my friends who came out and helped me. Thank you so much. You guys are angels. Literally. Um, uh, stay tuned. One of my friends gave me crumble cookies and I've never had it before so I'm going to do a taste test a little bit later once I pick up my friend. Um, yeah, I'm just really excited. So, but I think I'll definitely be more excited and settled tomorrow morning after getting some sleep. Hopefully I'll get a good enough sleep because I'm leaving like five hours later than I intended to. <coughs> but life happens and I probably average like five hours of sleep every night for this week and 20,000 steps a day every day this week. So needless to say, I'm tired and my whole body hurts, especially my neck, shoulders and back. But, you know, I got my compression socks on and I'm ready to take on the world. So, um, I'll check in with you guys either in a couple of hours or when I'm in Vegas. Yee! I've never been. I'm so excited. Okay. Start a counter for how many times I say that. Guys, I am literally on the road crying. people in place 
places and things that want to bring you down can't anymore because you're defying gravity now and I'm really excited about that so gosh ignore my weepiness but just like listen to the message it's okay to take a break sometimes it's okay to go away it's okay to retreat even if it's not strategically like sometimes you need to go off and rebuild yourself before you can get back to um doing and trying and chasing and believing and having faith like maybe the well is empty maybe your well of faith is empty and you just need to go away and have it refilled and that's a beautiful thing nothing to be ashamed of nothing to you know balk at or try to avoid because you feel like you just need to be able to go and do like self-care but also like rest is part of productivity and an essential part at that so Okay, that's all I want to say. Anyways, two more hours till Vegas. Let's go, I guess. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's day two of the road trip. Um, I'm in the same clothes because I forgot the clothes that I wanted to wear in the car. So I got dressed in these so I can go out to my car, get the clothes, and then go back inside and shower, so. Oh, um, when I get back inside, I will introduce to my friend. I picked her up late last night in Vegas, and then we got here to Arizona at like 3 a.m. So I'll see you in a bit. Not the sunscreen on my neck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh yeah. I'm gonna get me some dude wipes. Somebody's mom said no. It's an Anna. <laughs> Isn't she lovely? <laughs> <laughs> well, Anna faces. Yeah. <laughs> And then I take a nap. No naps. That's cool. Mm, this is what we want. Off of Dilly Dally, waiting for the later day tour. This is a cutie little SI place. We're in the car. We're headed to the tour. We thought it wasn't gonna happen, but it's happening. I'm so excited. I was very close to crying, and I said that in a joking way. But I'm it was. It, I I would have cried. I think I would have gotten over it, but I would have cried. So let's head to the tour. Also, this is Anna. 
Finally, you're meeting Anna. I've been talking about her for like the last three clips. Okay, let's go on the tour. Shout out to Sky Daddy. I'm so excited. This place is unreal. Hello. Ma'am, no bags. I have that. It's a medical bag. Did they take a picture of it and everything? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm going to have you two. You guys are going to be with Max. Okay, Max is right on this side. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hi guys, hello, hello. I knew she was looking at me when she made the announcement too. She said, not even tiny bags to look dead at me. Hi guys, hello. hello. My name is Max. I'll be your tour guide for next hour, okay? For us, we're going to go ahead and go and take a 10 minute walk right now, okay? As my ice clinks. Stop! Guided tours only! <laughs> Destination one mile. I put the first in the black pit. Oh my god. And then I would die. The third time. And it says the, the destination one mile. And the picture is of the guy sitting on a rock. Like head in his hands. And then the guy is sitting on the rock. With his head in his hands. It's really cute visual. <laughs> it is. This but I would like die. This sort of place overrides me a bit. You're never actually done, ever. Yeah. You never really feel closer to your destination yeah. and then finally you get there. Um, um, it sounds like you have like the perfect team. <laughs> yeah. So we got so lucky. The guy who does sound. Watch your heads, watch your toes. Oh, it is. We did it. We finished the tour. We made it. It was so much fun. You see the people still coming out down there. I'm so happy. <laughs> Not me booking the wrong tour, guys. I could have had a pink adventure. Kidding, I had the best time. I didn't even need to be pink because I'm a pink enough. Much fun, yes. Yeah. Did you guys eat fried bread?
Hey guys, so we made it to our second hotel. We are in Albuquerque, New Mexico. One of my braids is coming apart, but I am having so much fun. Um, I'll give you a little mini uh, hotel tour, and then we're finally gonna get into these crumble cookies. I got them two days ago, and they've been slightly smashed and sitting in the car, so like, I think each rating will have to add half a point or a full point to what we actually think of the cookies because they might be a little stale. I don't really know, but um, my friend's in the shower and then I'm gonna take a shower and then we're finally gonna try them. Um, as you probably know, I am gluten-free. Cookies were a gift from a friend and I've always wanted to try caramel cookies, but they do not do gluten-free. So I just packed my stomach full of fiber to try to coat it so that I hopefully don't get too sick. And I'm just gonna take like a bite of each cookie and then let my friend have the rest, so. Don't worry about me, I will be fine. Um, I think I hear her coming out of the shower, so I'll be back with you in a sec. I can't do that. It was good! I am so prepared. I do think I'll shower quickly, though. Okay, we're finally out of the shower. We're gonna open her up. She's Ooh. she's smushed. Whoa! These are These huge. Are epic. Oh. I need to wash my hands. Lemon, cinnamon roll, and chocolate chip. Wow! Looks delicious. It matches my outfit. Special. They're like cookie box. Special shout out to Chan Chi. Okay. Sorry for the setup, but my tripod's in the car, so. Um, can we both occupy this chair? That's okay. And I feel like if you I take it, I've been sitting long enough. That's fair. I like sitting. <laughs> okay, which one should we okay. try first? I'm gonna try the chocolate chip. I was gonna say, it's, it's already like in half. Classic. Okay. That's true. I think, oh no, I was gonna say, I think it has like flaky salt on it. Oh, fancy. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, Cheers. It's a little crunchy, but it's actually not too stale. Is the inside chewy? I kind of only got the outside. Oh no, yeah, the inside's chewy. Not bad. It just mm -hmm. tastes like a normal chunk of chicken. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna the inside. Yeah. I would give that a three and a half out of ten. Oh, uh, three and a half out of five. I mean, no ten. <laughs> I was like, man, that's vicious. What would you? Um, the chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I'm not actually the world's biggest chocolate chip cookie fan. That's fair. So I'd say about three out of five. I am. Okay, so that gives it like three seventy-five for me for it being two days old. Right. <laughs> and I'd say three point two five mm -hmm. for Anna. Wait, you tried it? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Is Cheers. it cinnamon roll, I think? Cheers. That's Cinnamon right. roll? Oh, oh, I love cinnamon roll. This one's tasty. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not the best snicker doodle I've ever had, mm -hmm. but it's actually pretty good. I like the coating. Is it snicker doodle or like a cinnamon roll? Probably like snicker doodle. I would give that one. Probably also a 3.5. I would give this one a 3.5. Okay. This looks like from the, like, this a lemon. This one's kind of scary. This one got smushed in the car. Should we like so. split it in half so we can see what the middle looks like? Oh, good idea. If it lets us. Okay. okay. It just looks like a sugar cookie. I think it's like sugar a cookie, lemon, lemon iced frosting. sugar cookie. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. I like the lemon frosting. Me too. Don't love the consistency of the cookie. Yeah, I think it's like three and a half across the board for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, not bad. Not the best cookie I ever had, but I'm glad I had a crumble experience, so. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. It feels like an average cookie. Yeah. It's like not and out of this world. It's in an above average box. The box is very fancy and nice. Yeah. 
I think this might be one of those things where the brand carries it. Yeah. It's a, I mean, I, it's a cookie I'd or, eat. like, the size of the cookie is, like, makes it yeah. exciting. Yeah, I didn't realize they were that big. Like, they're literally the size of my hand. Yeah. Oh, well, anyways. There you have it, guys. The chocolate chip cookie. Agreed. Crumble. I was going to eat up that part. 3.75. I was going to give it a full half a point for being two days old, but I don't, it doesn't feel like that affected the cookie taste no, that much. No, I don't think it deserves that extra bit. So, thanks, Chanchi, for thinking of me. The cookies are great. Yes, thank you for the sugar. <laughs> We're going to go to bed now. See you in, uh, on the way to, probably on the way to Little Rock or a brief stop in Texas. I don't really know. Okay, bye. It's Sunday. <laughs> We're back in the car. We're on our way to ice cream. Yes, the ice cream stop in Amarillo. Is Amarillo in Texas? Going to Texas for the first time. <laughs> okay, let's go. Bag of burgers. That sounds like right. really really right. an appetizer. Right. <laughs> you can go past the glade. Oh, sorry. They're hot. Your destination is on the left. Well, they've got everything.
turkey right in here, parking. I guess it's fried chicken. Well, thanks. Ooh. Cannibal and craft. Okay, that's a little scary. A little. Temporary farewell. Temporary farewell. <laughs> Okay, so even though it's gonna add more time to my journey and probably make me arrive closer to 10 p.m., I'm making an unplanned stop because I saw a sign for Bucky's and um, I've never been to Bucky's before and I follow some YouTubers who like talked about it all the time. Like, um, if you know the McKnight's, they used to be cute girl hairstyles, like Brooklyn and Bailey and all of them. Um, they're from Texas and they always talk about Bucky's and how much they love it. And then my aunt went too. At the lights, like, use the middle lane to turn left onto US 78 West. Then use the right lane to take the. Thank you. Head north on Bucky's Boulevard. Then turn right to stay on Bucky's Boulevard. Thank you. Turn left to oh. stay on. Bu okay, dude. Head north, chill. Then turn left. Okay. Um, sorry. So I'm out of Bucky's. We were going to try to stop on the way yesterday, but it, it was closed on Sunday for some reason. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go inside and check it out really quick and it's gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna get my first impression of a Bucky's. Shout out goes out to Brooklyn and Bailey who I'm sure will never ever see this. <laughs> but still, it's fun to go somewhere where like people that you like to watch on YouTube also go. So let's do it. Okay, I was definitely expecting like a gas station and this looks more like a Walmart. Which is interesting. Oh my god, look at that. I feel like I should get a souvenir or something. Let's look around. Hello! Good, how about yourself? Do you have anything we can wrap this in? Yeah. Okay, I'm leaving Bucky's. I bought stuff. So, I'm really glad I went in there because I was able to get my friend a birthday present and her birthday is today. Um, and I was gonna, she won't be home for a few days, so I was just gonna wait, but thank you, Buggy! about when I stopped filming because it was late and I was tired and by the time I got to my friend's house in the middle of the night. So here's a sneak peek. I'll give you guys a little bit more of a tour in the next video. Um, well, this is what you get for now. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe so you'll get notifications when my move-in video and house tour comes out. My friend is in the middle of renovating and redoing a lot of her house. Um, so I won't be showing you anything in their room because it's literally all going to be redone and hopefully you'll be seeing that in maybe not the next video but the video after that. So um, all for now you get is this little sneak peek of the door. Um, but I love you. Uh, drink your water and don't forget to stay amused. See you guys in the next one.